what if tomorrow's most powerful security guard didn't carry a badge, but charged itself overnight? In today's world of rising threats, the front line isn't made of uniforms anymore. It's made of code, steel, and sensors. AI robots aren't coming. They're already here, guarding banks, patrolling streets, scanning crowds, and reacting faster than any human ever could. They don't blink, they don't sleep, and they never look away. This isn't science fiction, this is now, and the world is changing forever. But how smart are they, really? Let's start with the K5 robot by Nightscope. It looks like a moving bullet-shaped tower, but it's a mobile security unit with 360-degree vision, license plate recognition, thermal imaging, and even sound detection. This robot patrols malls, airports, and parking lots, quietly scanning, recording, and reporting suspicious behavior in real time. And when it finds something wrong, it doesn't panic. It alerts the human team instantly, and that's just the beginning. Meet Spot, the four-legged robot dog built by Boston Dynamics. Unlike cameras that stay in one place, Spot moves through uneven terrain, stairs, and tight spaces where humans struggle. It's already used by police forces, military units, and even firefighters to inspect dangerous zones, detect hazards, and send live feeds to command centers. It doesn't just walk, it learns. But what if a robot could do more than patrol or monitor? Then you get Atlas, the humanoid robot that's redefining what machines can physically do. Built for mobility and strength, Atlas can jump, run, lift, and maneuver like an athlete. It's not just for show. In security missions or disaster zones, this kind of mobility means access, rescue, and response in places humans can't reach. Imagine a robot that can pull someone from rubble or climb through collapsed buildings, and the robots are getting smarter by the minute. The Beijing-developed Anbot, for example, not only patrols, but can engage with suspects. It uses facial recognition, has a built-in taser for extreme situations, and can alert police faster than any human guard. It's not just about seeing a threat, it's about reacting before damage is done. Anbot doesn't need rest, it needs a charge. That's what makes these systems more than tools, they're teammates. Then there's Drone Dog, deployed by the NYPD. Fitted with cameras and real-time transmission gear, this robot can enter dangerous buildings or suspect zones before human officers. It's tactical surveillance at a whole new level. It moves in silence, navigates dark rooms, and sends high-definition footage instantly to teams waiting outside, buying time, saving lives, and lowering risk. Drone Dog doesn't just record, it clears the path for safe entry. In high-risk areas, that can mean the difference between life and death. But are we ready for a world where these machines make frontline decisions? That's the big question. These robots collect massive amounts of data. Every image, every movement, every face. That data feeds back into AI systems that learn, adapt, and upgrade. The more they see, the better they get. But it also means more surveillance, more control, and less privacy for everyone being watched. In public or private space, the line between security and surveillance is shrinking fast, and most people won't even know they're being recorded. And there's another side to this power. These robots aren't just used for stopping crime. They're also being used for border patrol, protest monitoring, and public crowd control. AI doesn't care who you are. It follows patterns. But when those patterns get biased or misread, the results can be dangerous. A robot mistaking a harmless person for a threat is a very real risk. So who draws the line? Every new model brings more autonomy. Today's robots can patrol, detect, alert, and even act on their own. But as they get smarter, the need for human judgment grows. Oversight, ethics, and clear regulations aren't optional. They're urgent. Because once these machines are in the field, there's no pause button, and the industry shows no signs of slowing down. But what happens when robots don't just watch from the ground, but from the sky? Enter aerial security drones, small, fast, and constantly aware. These aren't the toy drones you've seen flying in parks. 
These are high-end surveillance units used by law enforcement and private security firms to monitor large areas, track suspects, and provide real-time video from above. In border patrols, festivals, or riots, they act as eyes in the sky, seeing what no one else can. And they're not working alone anymore. Some cities are now testing drone fleets that move together using AI-based coordination, swarm robotics. Imagine dozens of drones flying in patterns covering every blind spot of a neighborhood in seconds. Each drone collects data, shares it with the others, and adjusts in real time. One device watches, a swarm controls, and unlike humans, they don't get tired. These coordinated fleets can monitor 24-7, shift formations mid-air, and instantly adapt to changing threats. But what if you needed a robot not just for patrol, but for protection? That's where Robear comes in, a Japanese-developed robot that looks gentle, but lifts heavy like a machine. Originally built for elderly care and nursing support, Robear is now being studied for emergency extraction, rescue, and even riot control support. It's not always about chasing the enemy. Sometimes, security means saving the innocent, and countries are using these machines in more ways than one. Dubai police now use humanoid robots in malls and public spaces. These robots scan faces, provide directions, and alert human officers if something seems off. China's Anbot patrols campuses. India has started using AI surveillance for crowd behavior during large gatherings. In the US, robot dogs and drones are being added to police departments. Every country is testing how far the tech can go. But with so many machines in the field, who's truly in charge? AI decisions, like who's suspicious or when to alert authorities, can have real consequences. If a robot misreads a gesture or falsely identifies a face, it can lead to wrongful alerts or worse. That's why countries are now drafting robot laws, legal frameworks that define when, how, and where these machines can be used. And then comes the hacking threat. Imagine a robot designed to protect a building, hacked remotely and turned against it. The smarter the robot, the more devastating the attack. That's why cybersecurity for AI systems is just as important as physical strength. A single vulnerability can open the door to chaos. Imagine a fleet of patrol bots redirected with a few lines of malicious code. Firewalls, encryption, and human oversight must always be one step ahead. Yet the race continues faster than ever. Some developers are building robots that don't just detect threats, they intercept them. Autonomous bots that can block intruders, trap drones, or activate lockdowns. Even facial expression analysis is being explored. Robots reading human emotion to predict aggression or distress before a crime even begins. But is prediction the same as justice? That's the fear critics have. That one day a robot may flag someone not because of what they did, but what it thinks they might do. That's not security. That's profiling. And it opens up a world of bias, abuse, and power imbalance. These systems must stay tools, not judges. Because the future is no longer coming. It's already here. As robots roll, fly, and walk into every corner of our lives, one thing is clear. Security will never be the same again. It'll be faster, smarter, more connected, but also more complex, more questioned, and more powerful. This isn't a tool revolution. It's a transformation. The kind that rewrites who has control, who makes decisions, and who holds the real power in the new world of intelligent machines. So the next time you walk into a mall, a station, or down your street, ask yourself, are you being protected or just being watched? If you found this eye-opening, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned because the machines are only getting smarter.